have found a planet around the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. So this discovery didn't happen, obviously, from one day. So to what's the closest uh, Earth-like planet you think is worth visiting? How hard is it? Proxima Centauri. It's over four light years away. Proxima b, a planet near us, was just seen in the clearest possible light by the James Webb Telescope. This new image depicts a region that resembles Earth but is dangerously unstable because to extreme temperature swings and radiation. With this intriguing image, a major question arises, may life exist on Proxima b? It is situated in an area that may contain water, leading us to wonder if life may exist there. Join us as we explore this intriguing riddle, which could lead to the discovery of an extraterrestrial civilization poised to conquer and permanently alter our planet. A planet like ours, but full of difficulties Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth, is one of the most promising worlds that scientists have discovered in their hunt for planets like Earth. We are able to see this planet more clearly now because of the James Webb Space Telescope. Although it resembles Earth somewhat, there are also significant distinctions. The planet revolves around Proxima Centauri, a star that is located more than four light years away. Although we can't travel that far with existing technology, there are plans for missions that might get us closer. Scientists are looking through new data when they discover an enigmatic signal from Proxima b that may indicate extraterrestrial life. We confront both enormous obstacles and fascinating opportunities as we learn more about it. Although it's close enough for us to think about exploring, its environment is harsh and dangerous. However, that's not the worst aspect. We still have a lot to understand, but certain of its properties make one seriously wonder if life may survive there. This planet is very close to Proxima Centauri. It takes it 11.2 Earth days to complete an orbit around its star. The fact that it is located in its star's habitable zone makes it much more fascinating. This region surrounds a star where circumstances may let liquid water to exist, which is necessary for life as we know it. Both scientists and the general public are very excited about this revelation. This planet is fascinating because of its delicate balance. Some elements seem to make it ideal for life, while others would render it uninhabitable. It is probably tidally locked, which means that one side of the planet is always facing the star and the other side is always in the dark. This is another major issue. Thus, it is possible for one side to be exceedingly hot and the other to be extremely cold. The question of whether life could exist there yet stands despite these harsh circumstances. This planet challenges us to reconsider our understanding of the severe environments in which life can exist. Not only that, though. The telescope and the espresso spectrograph are examples of new technology that has made studying far-off worlds like this one easier. These tools aid in our comprehension of the planet's physical features and even provide hints as to whether life may exist there. In an intriguing endeavor known as Starshot, scientists want to discover more about worlds similar to our own by sending small probes to Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system. This endeavor demonstrates our dedication to space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life. It's not an easy journey to this planet, though. However, human ingenuity never stops pushing the envelope and venturing into uncharted territory. The Starshot initiative is massive in scope. We would need to spend as much energy as the entire U.S. would need to launch these probes, but for only 10 minutes or so. The probes would take 20 years to reach Alpha Centauri after they were launched into orbit. Upon their arrival, they would have approximately two hours to gather and transmit all the necessary data back to Earth. It would take an additional four years for the data to get to us, making long-distance communication exceedingly difficult. However, the potential benefits are also enormous. If this planet's exploration is successful, it may alter our perception of who we are and where we fit in the cosmos. Maybe we'll discover more about the formation and evolution of planets outside our solar system, as well as whether life exists elsewhere. Upon completion of this mission, we will have a better understanding of worlds similar to Earth and be able to respond to one of the most important questions facing humanity. Are we the only ones in the universe? We are pushing the envelope of what is conceivable when we imagine new planets. How we want to quickly explore far-off planets, but exploration entails responsibilities. We will need to think carefully about moral issues if we ever choose to travel to or perhaps settle on other worlds. What obligations do we have when it comes to investigating and maybe altering the ecosystem of another planet? 
Regardless of how basic they may be, how can we ensure that we don't damage or disturb any potential life forms there? But this won't be our greatest obstacle. The act of exploring this planet itself marks the start of a new phase in humankind's quest for knowledge. Though its harsh surroundings serve as a reminder of the huge obstacles ahead, its Earth-like attributes give us hope. We are learning more about it than we could have ever imagined thanks to the devices we are employing, like as the telescope and other cutting-edge equipment. The initiative demonstrates our commitment to exploring far-off worlds and pushing outside our comfort zones in order to learn more about what conditions are necessary for a planet to support life. Even in situations where the path ahead appears unattainable, humanity's innate curiosity to discover the unknown keeps us moving forward. We are delving into some of the greatest mysteries of the universe as we investigate not only far-off planets like this one, but also massive black holes at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It's incredible how something as strong as a black hole can remain concealed in space. Itself, giving us only a hint of the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. Super string theory studies the tiniest components of the cosmos and has the potential to explain anomalies that are beyond the purview of conventional science. For example, it might clarify the peculiar properties of black holes, which defy the laws of gravity and quantum mechanics. Scientists aim to find answers to important issues regarding the origins and structure of the universe by utilizing the theory to investigate black holes. But it's difficult to investigate black holes. Because these large objects don't emit light, they are invisible to standard observational instruments. Research is more difficult and unclear since scientists have to rely on indirect approaches, such as seeing how neighboring stars and gas behave around them. The theory itself is also complicated. It states that vibrating strings, not microscopic dots, are the smallest components of matter. This theory attempts to bridge the difficult physics gap between Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics. In addition, the theory proposes that there are ten dimensions, which is six more than the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time that humans normally experience. It is difficult to demonstrate the existence of these extra dimensions since they are assumed to be so densely packed that we are unable to directly observe or measure them. More difficulties are added by theoretical concepts like wormholes, which are space-time tunnels that may connect various regions of the universe. The instability and near impossibility of studying wormholes make it much more difficult to verify their existence. This implies that a large portion of our knowledge regarding black holes and related subjects is still theoretical. To gain a deeper understanding of them, we rely on developments in both observational technology and theoretical physics. The theory even proposes a reimagining of the Big Bang, speculating that our universe may have originated from a cosmic birth or collision with another universe. It suggests that wormholes might serve as passageways between various temporal and spatial dimensions. Wormholes have the potential to alter our understanding of the cosmos and even reveal that black holes are portals to other realms if they are real and stable. Here's a crazy thought, though. Is it possible that the entire universe is inside a black hole that is a component of a larger universe? This would be a radical departure from our fundamental conceptions of origins and existence. Our curiosity keeps growing as we delve further into these cosmic mysteries, which motivates us to study more about the cosmos. Betelgeuse is one of the stars that scientists have been keeping a careful eye on since it has recently displayed striking brightness variations. Astronomers have noticed this and are speculating that it may soon burst into a supernova. These variations in brightness put our understanding of stars to the test and get us closer to seeing an amazing and uncommon occurrence that might light up the sky for weeks at a time. The dynamic changes occurring in its life cycle are highlighted by the recent increase in brightness observed by the telescope. This star, which is part of the constellation Orion, used to light steadily, but it has recently become much brighter, standing out in the night sky. This is not a tiny change, rather, it indicates significant variations in the star's temperature, mass, or energy output, demonstrating the extreme unpredictability of stars like it. Scientists and amateur stargazers alike are paying closer attention to it as it gets brighter. We are tracking every little change in its behavior to gain additional insight into the star's life cycle. We are obtaining important insights into how stars evolve thanks to instruments like the telescope, which also provides a stunning spectacle for night sky watchers. We become aware that our understanding of the enormous cosmos and its stars and other celestial things is limited to a small portion of the whole. 
The reality of what is actually happening in space frequently differs from our expectations of what we could observe there. Consider neutrinos, which are minuscule particles with nearly zero weight that are frequently disregarded. However, these particles are very important to a star's life. Something significant is about to occur when a star like it approaches the end of its life and prepares to burst into a supernova. This is indicated by more than just light. It's possible that neutrinos, which hardly ever interact with other matter, will be the first indication when something is going to explode, providing us with a heads up before our eyes can detect anything. Huge amounts of neutrinos are emitted when a supernova explodes and the star's core collapses due to gravity. These particles have the ability to almost instantaneously escape the star's core and go through space at the speed of light. Because it takes longer for light to travel through the star's bursting layers, neutrinos can reach Earth hours or even days before the supernova's light does. The end of a faraway star could soon light up our night sky. The dark future of our night sky scientists discover these neutrinos not only confirm that the star has transformed into a supernova, but also provide important hints about what's going on inside the star during its latter stages. Observatories worldwide, such as the Ice Cube Observatory in Antarctica and the Super Kamio Candy in Japan, are searching for these elusive particles. It would be a tremendous accomplishment to detect neutrinos from it. It has only ever been done twice. The first occurrence occurred in 1987, when scientists discovered neutrinos from supernova 1987A, which provided crucial information about how huge stars die. However, we're keeping an eye on more than just neutrinos. Astronomers are waiting for the precise moment when these particles will give us an early warning as its brightness varies and its behavior is unpredictable. As soon as that occurs, the scientific community will act quickly, setting up telescopes all across the globe to record every aspect of the explosion. Its supernova, if it happens soon, would be one of the most significant astronomical events of our time. The information gathered, particularly from neutrinos, will have a long-lasting effect on our understanding of the stars even after its light fades. The influence of a supernova, however, goes beyond what can be studied by scientists. Imagine stepping outside and seeing something brighter than Venus in the night sky, so bright it could cast shadows at night. That's what may happen when it bursts, and that's not a scene from a science fiction movie, it's a very real danger that could happen soon. Jupiter, the huge planet, just gained two more moons to its already enormous group. Scientists get new insights about the growth and evolution of planets and moons in our solar system with each new moon discovery. After Jupiter, focus went to Saturn, one of the most gorgeous planets noted for its majestic rings and many moons. To investigate it closely and obtain critical information, the spaceship had to make a very delicate motion. This wasn't only to show off engineering talents, it was to avert a possible crash with Titan, Saturn's largest moon. As the spacecraft sailed by it, it identified four more moons, broadening our knowledge of the planet's reach. It also sent back detailed photos of the rings, providing scientists the best look ever at their structure. By the year 1990, Voyager 1, the famous spacecraft, shifted from researching our solar system to journeying into the great unknown of space beyond it. This wasn't just a modest adjustment, it was a major jump into realms we had never explored before, motivated by our natural curiosity and quest for discovery. One of Voyager 1's biggest successes was obtaining a family photo of our solar system from a distance of 6 billion kilometers away. The planets appear in this image as tiny specks against the infinite blackness of space. This sobering picture serves as a reminder of our tiny place in the cosmos and the significance of caring for Earth, our one and only home. However, this wasn't the most unexpected choice. Following this amazing image, NASA took the emotional decision to switch off its cameras. As it traveled farther into deep space, this allowed the mission to concentrate more on gathering and transmitting crucial data rather than capturing images. It now silently travels through the heliosphere, the solar disk's outermost region, and into the interstellar medium without the use of its cameras. We now know a lot more about the unknown realm beyond our solar system and our solar system thanks to its voyage. Something genuinely incredible occurred by the year 2000. It formally left our solar system and entered interstellar space. This wasn't just a technical win, it was a historic moment for humankind. Our first spacecraft had been launched into uncharted territory outside of our solar neighborhood. P-1 
People all throughout the world were thrilled when NASA announced the news in the year 2000 since it represented a significant advancement in space exploration. That was not, however, the biggest surprise. Even though it is still powered by technology from the 1970s, it continues to transmit important data from space. It currently takes two days for any signal it sends to reach Earth, demonstrating its incredible distance. This delay illustrates more than just the increasing physical separation. The farther it gets away, the more it serves as a reminder of how brittle the bond is. It represents both the immensity of space and the difficulty of maintaining contact with the furthest point from Earth for humans. Its lonesome journey serves as a reflection of our own never-ending quest for knowledge about the universe, serving as a reminder of both the mysteries of space and our yearning to explore it. Recent observations reveal some intriguing alterations in it that may indicate this star is approaching a massive explosion known as a supernova. With the use of sophisticated instruments, astronomers have observed that it is losing its typical round shape. Rather, it appears rather asymmetrical, which could indicate that the star is highly active. These morphological changes are significant because they may indicate that the star is preparing for a supernova. However, predicting the precise moment of explosion remains extremely difficult, even with these hints. This kind of massive star contains a complex mixture of nuclear processes, gravity, and energy fluxes. Scientists are still unsure of the precise moment at which the star's core will collapse and cause an explosion. Adding to the difficulty, stars such as it undergo changes over extraordinarily extended time spans, thousands or even millions of years at a time. Therefore, even while these existing indicators suggest that the star will eventually explode, they don't provide scientists with enough information to pinpoint the exact moment on a calendar. However, that is not the main obstacle. Our ability to view these stars is limited, even with the most advanced technologies. The inner workings of stars are hidden from view by even the most powerful telescopes, which can only view their outer layers. The true action, where supernova occurrences originate, happens in the core, which remains hidden from view. To comprehend what's truly going on inside it as it prepares for a probable supernova, astronomers utilize computer models and simulations. They feed in the data they've acquired and try to reproduce what might be happening. But since stars are so complex, even the best models are only educated guesses and contain a lot of uncertainty. Even still, the thought of a supernova thus near to Earth excites astronomers. Scientists will have a unique opportunity to witness up close how stars die and what that process looks like if it explodes. We would learn a great deal more about the life and death of stars from events like this. However, there's something much more intriguing to consider. How will its explosion affect Earth? Though close to Earth in space, it is still a very long way from us at roughly 643 light years. This space serves as a cushion, shielding us from any significant damage. A significant concern arises when we investigate the enigmatic planet Proxima b. Is it acceptable to run the risk of damaging another planet just for scientific purposes? Remember to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment with your thoughts.